important is it for you to play some Saturday? It's important to me. Like I'm really, I'm trying to get out there, a young guy, trying to see how it is in the NFL preseason. It doesn't matter, um, but hopefully it goes that way. I really don't know yet, but we're gonna see. Do you think you get any extra time in the game just because you couldn't play the first one? Uh, that's not up to me. That's up to coach. I really don't know. Were you able to take anything away, learn a little bit? You know, obviously, Pat didn't play either. So were you guys able to kind of build a little, even though you were on the sidelines? Yeah, uh, getting all the calls coach made, really getting my visual learning going on, and also telling the Pat and Levi just about route formations, route concepts, and everything like that. So it was good. Joey, so far in camp, how far do you think you've come? What do you, what are you really looking to, to work on? I feel like I've grown a lot during camp. You know, there was some bumps and bruises throughout the whole thing, but uh, at the end of the day, I take them, I win. So it was good for me. Are there parts of your game that you can see now that you couldn't see at the start of camp? Like things like, oh, I got to add that, I got to see this. I could catch for real. I got nice hands. You know, I always always knew that, but I stamped myself this camp with that. Does that bring some confidence to have those picks that you've had in this camp? Definitely, definitely. Every pick brings a, a boost your confi confidence a little bit. So every day I try to go out there and snag one or two. Is it boosted even more after I know you didn't have as many picks as you wanted in college last year? Is it kind of a reminder to be like, yeah, I, I can do this? Yeah, it was really just a... Uh, shut everybody else up, the outsider that didn't think I could catch, and I had to show them that I could. Uh, but it really was nothing. I always worked on it every day before and after practice, so it was something that was going to happen. You mentioned your own growth throughout this camp, but how have you seen your defense, especially your room, grow from day one to now? I mean, I feel like we're all communicating. That was the biggest thing coming in. There was a lot of new guys coming in, especially me. And the main thing Minka and everybody was talking about was just communicate, communication, because without communication, we can't be a great defense. Guys, a couple more here. He's got to get going. Keanu talked about that this morning, about how it's been difficult with everybody in and out of the lineup the last week or so to, to dial in that communication. Is that something you look to hone this week now that more guys are back in the lineup, including yourself? Definitely. Uh, every day we're trying to be more vocal. As a vocal defense, that's how you get a wins and get stops. So that's what we already try to hustle for. Joe, do you put pressure on yourself potentially starting week one? Because there's a little bit of a trickle-down effect of Pat Pete moving inside if you're outside. Do you think about that at all? I always come out here working to be the best guy, be, the, be, the, be CB1, but uh, really that's up to the, that's up to coach. And if he feels like I'm ready or not, and I'm just going to keep out, keep going outside, showing him that I am. All right. Thanks, Joe. Thanks, Thanks, Joe. Thanks, Joe. Thanks, Joe. Thank you for checking out this content from Post Gazette Sports. If you enjoyed the video, please like it and subscribe to our YouTube podcast. channel. Check out our Apple Podcast channel for more podcast content. Click below for a special deal of 99 cents for a three-month subscription to the Pittsburgh Post Gazette.